We back here to talk about the money. What is up, guys? Always Justice here, aka US 13 Legend. On today's episode, by popular request, we are going to talk about an interesting topic that I termed it when that. not to trade. We have a time to trade, we have a time not to trade. So today we are going to focus on when you shouldn't even open a chat or even go into the forex market, even go into whatever. Ch- uh, system or market you trade whether you do trade cryptocurrency whether you do trade stocks options when not trade and the first thing i'm going to i made a list here and i'm going to use my phone to read it out to you guys so you guys do understand the epiphysis of what i'm going to talk about so the first point is you need to have a strong mental system or a strong psychological system don't trade when you have issues around you when you have when you're not psychologically or you are not mentally strong when you don't feel like trading don't trade is an off day for you that's point number one point number two you shouldn't trade during bank holidays or weekends right take a break during bank holidays when you go to your forex factory and you see bank holiday on a particular pair know that there's not going to be a lot of volatility or a lot of movements in that pair so you shouldn't be bothering yourself worrying yourself to trade point number three is when you are busy right when you are busy don't trade right for example i do i used to send signals from me um, signals from school when i was in school i would be sending signals when i'm you know taking care of patients i'll be sending signals what have you it it distracts you it doesn't you know trading is something emotional right you are looking for money it's it's like a job you need to treat it as a business you need to Put in all the full focus, all the full attention into it before you can reap um, its profit or its gains from gains from it. So you need to pay full attention to trading. When something is distracting you, when you are too busy, don't trade. That's point number two. Now, point number three, you should you shouldn't trade during consolidation when the market is consolidation when the market is choppy you shouldn't trade you shouldn't even look at the chart right till market break has a get a break out or till market gets a break out below or above don't trade if market is trending fine you can you can look at opportunities and trade the market point number five you shouldn't trade when there is no setup right i always tell people that whenever you get into the chat you would definitely see a setup when you're not seeing anything or when you rack a lot on the chat or when you begin to ask yourself question is this is this is this possible um i think i think then that should tell you that there is no setup there setups are seeable when i say seeable that means it's very clear without even drawing any trend line any applying any zone applying any tool on the chart it's very clear that you know that this direction of this um, particular market or particular pair is going to go for a buy you know that you don't begin to plot your tools for entry so you should know when to what enter the market know when to trade and know when not to trade point number six is when you've reached your daily target you should stop trading this is one point that a lot of traders do miss and a lot of traders do don't take serious right when you reach a daily target supposing your daily target is 200 dollars supposing your daily target is 500 dollars if you've reached that target that means it's a call off day you are done for the day no need to tell yourself that yo i've made 500 i need 600 so let me now look after making 600 you tell yourself let me try to make 700 and it goes on and on and on that makes you an indisciplined trader and trust me sorry to rack your brains not no mentor in this world will save you if you are indisciplined yeah no mentor is going to save you if you are indisciplined doing those steps now point number seven right never trade outside your session i always advise people to have one particular session that they look one or two particular sessions that they look into for example i only trade the new york session as you guys know um and that is what i trade and i trade i have a favorite pair. you also have to have a favorite pair that you focus on day in and day out my favorite pair is us that though i trade a lot of stars but you must have a favorite pair that you have mastery in it that without other pairs you know that this day I can make some racks of my favorite pair. Now, the next point that's a point number eight is never trade after you've missed an entry, right? 
if you 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 are planning to enter a, a market let's say you are planning to enter bitcoin at 60k and you you wake up to see bitcoin at 62k don't chase the market you've missed the entries there's nothing to do you just have to wait what well, i always tell people that the market is always there right you can you will lose your money today and the market will always be there so it's always best you get the right setup right entry and don't chase uh, or don't revenge on trades or setups that you've made if you've made the same setup that you made could you could make another setup and make another money somewhere or get opportunities somewhere along the line and the last but not the least is don't trade when your stop loss doesn't make sense right for example I, I i remember when i was trading gold the other time and my stop loss my entry was somewhere 1764 i was going for a buy and my stop loss the only logical level that i could place a stop loss was 17 40. now if you do the calculations this is like 240 pips stop loss now is is this a logical trade to, to take no there are some trades that though the setup may be good the setup may be valid what so have you that doesn't mean that you should do take this trade always count your proper risk management in always count your where you're going to set your stop loss i always say that set stop loss at where stop, stop loss is supposed to be set don't set stop loss at where you know that it would definitely come for stop hands and you would get out and what have you set stop losses at psychologically psychological levels or logical levels that would prevent you from losing more not more than 50 pips not more than 40 pips it's fine no, but if you're going to set surplus for 300 pips 400 pips that means you shouldn't even venture into taking that trade and the last point is don't trade when you don't feel like trading this is very very important if you feel you are trading and you need a rest don't quit though i'm not saying quit but if you think you need a rest from trading that is then this is the time for you to take a rest it's it's good sometimes i i also do go into a lot of losses that you know i need to take one or two days off to regain myself have that spirit of resilience and come back to the chance to face it it's very very normal to do that and it's it's not abnormal if you're also going to you know trading stress emotional stress what have you it's very 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 you have to have the spirit of resilience don't give up come back stronger learn from your mistakes always and get better at your mistakes see you guys on the next episode and i'm going to talk about a dope content and i know you guys will be ready for it.